Hey there, pedal people. It's the pedal guy here. How you doing? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to revisit an old friend of ours, the Canalia Boost and Overdrive by Lovely Gagger FX. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of the pedal guy videos. Well, we uh, we did a little uh, demo of this last year around uh, November, I think it was in 2017 there. And it, it's a lot of fun to play with, and I don't think it got really the kind of rollout it should have. So we decided to kind of do a revisit on this pedal because we didn't give it a really extended amount of time. Um, and I think that this would be as good a time as any to do that. Uh, so the Canalia is a uh, boost, but it's also an overdrive. And it's got a, a very nice secret weapon here, which is the bypass switch, and that operates the gain control here. But it is a uh, just a beautiful looking pedal. It is a um, hardwood shell um, that, according to Lolly Gagger, you can drive a car over it and it won't break. In fact, there's a video on their website, I believe, that does that. I don't recommend doing that, but if that uh, floats your boat, go for it. Um, it comes in several different finishes. Uh, this is just one of them. Uh, we might, at the end of the video, show you what all of them look like so you can get a, a better idea of uh, the kind of beauty and craftsmanship that Lolly Gagger brings to the table uh, with this pedal. Uh, just looking at the back very quickly, it's a very straightforward connection. Uh, you have your input, you have your output, and you have a power supply input on the back too. Now it's important to note that this pedal does not have battery, um, a battery slot. So you need to use a power adapter to work with it. It's a negative tip uh, power adapter between 9 to 18 volts. Um, and there's a great rundown in the box uh, with the one sheet that comes with the uh, Canalia that explains the features and benefits, or the pros and the cons, if you will, of using uh, a 9 volt adapter versus an 18 volt adapter. So you can read on that if you like. Um, and as a kind reminder, if you want to skip all of the explanation and just get to the, just get to the audio, just use the chapter list below and you can skip over my dulcet tones and move over to the playing and just skip all over it. So have fun with that. Uh, now let's take a look at the uh, parameters of the pedal so that I can get you familiarized with it very quickly. Um, and as you can see, we do have our, our green screen here. So let's go ahead and, and fix that. All right, that looks a little better, doesn't it? It's a festive time of year. It's December. It's about two weeks before Christmas, so why not have a little fun with it, right? Okay, so the basic outline of the pedal is that it's a boost right off the bat, and it also becomes a very powerful overdrive. You have two main controls, which is the pre and the post. The uh, post controls the overall volume um, and uh, of the pedal, but the character is really determined by the pre knob because this will feed the, um, this will feed the gain into the post circuit. Uh, so at its lowest setting, around 9 o'clock here, you're going to get uh, a pretty clean boost of sorts. Um, as you begin to increase that, it'll get uh, more and more distorted. So you want to experiment with that a bit. Um, I typically start in the lower settings just to kind of get familiarized with the characters of the pedal and then start moving it up from there. Now the secret weapon of the Canalia is the bypass switch, which is over here, and that controls the gain knob. Now what the gain knob is, is it's a, uh, it's an attenuator that raises uh, the voltage, raises or lowers the voltage uh, of the transistor in the pre-circuit. So when it's turned off, nothing's happening, it, the pre is working as it should, uh, basically. Um, but when you turn off the bypass switch and you start working with the gain, that's going to give you even more crunch um, and more uh, distortion um, than, uh, than you thought possible, frankly. When we really get this thing cranking, you're going to be really surprised with what you hear. So this can be used effectively as a, bo as a boost for, like, say, the overdrive section of the, uh, of the playing in your song. So if you're playing like a rhythm track and you've got, already got a good, you're playing rhythm and you've already got a good tone, you can actually work with the gain knob, uh, turn the bypass switch off, and there you go. Um, now, uh, or just, well, actually switching on the bypass, I should say. That's not switching off the bypass. Now, one thing to note with the gain knob, too, is that it, it's, it's changing voltage. 
So when it's altering voltage, there's going to be a little bit of noise that's introduced in that. So you'll notice that when you turn the bypass on and you start adjusting the gain, you're going to hear a little bit of noise. You'll hear it when we, when we start demoing the pedal. I just want you to know that ahead of time, that it's a very common, uh, it's a very uh, common sound uh, for making those kind of adjustments. It's perfectly normal. So there's nothing to worry about. You don't have a broken pedal or anything like that at all. It's just the way that this thing called electricity works. So uh, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and kick into the uh, demo. All right, we have our setup ready to go. Uh, we're using a very basic setup here. We are going from an ES335 straight into the Canalia, from the Canalia to a 60 watt head. That's being fed to a speaker soak so we can get the full tone out of the amp. Uh, right off to a 212 cabinet and then straight to our mixing board. And we do have a little bit of reverb on the mixing board to keep it interesting sounding. So if I turn the volume on the guitar up, very, uh, very basic sound. Um, let's go ahead and kick into it. All right, so as mentioned before, the pre feeds into the post and the post handles the overall volume of the pedal. What I typically recommend doing when you're getting started here, because this can go very quickly from to zero to what the hell just happened. So you wanna make sure that you're starting at a good at a good basic spot here. So what I recommend doing is starting with the pre at zero, um, then turning it on and starting to make adjustments from there. So what I'll do is I'll kill the microphone and uh, give you a, a good example of what this sounds like. So right off the bat, you can tell, wow, okay, there's already something going on here that's pretty strong. Um, and like all uh, overdrives, each one has its own characteristics and its own, uh, its own personality, if you will. And this one is just like, it's a rabid dog <laughs> waiting to be unleashed. It's one of those kind of, it's one of those kind of pedals that I just love to death because this, is, this would be one that really takes people by surprise when they hear it. Um, so from here, uh, we can start making adjustments to the pre going into the post. And I kind of suggest that, you know, as you turn the pre up, uh, turn the post back a little bit, just so you have a little more control over the volume. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're using a, a, a speaker soak or not. You just want to kind of keep an eye on all that. Um, now one of the other great things about, you know, using this Gibson, it's got the rhythm section, the rhythm setting on the pickups so that I can get a more of a thinner sound out of it. So if I turn the volume up here, that's in the rhythm section, in the rhythm setting, but in the lead setting, it's uh, I get a much louder sound. Now uh, the the reason we're you're hearing some distortion there is because my my microphone here doesn't really care for the amp too much, so we're trying not to have the two compete. So we'll try to keep it as clean as possible. But what we'll do at this point is let's go ahead and uh, turn off the mic. And let's start just making some adjustments to the uh, pre into the post.
Yeah, so I could mess around with this, uh, with those settings all day long. But do you hear what, a, what you're, what, what's going on here? Is that we, we've already, we haven't even started with the bypass yet. We're already getting these crunchy, creamy overdrives that just, honestly, uh, you just don't hear very often in pedals like this, um, in, in overdrive pedals, just right off the bat. You don't have to work for the tone, I guess is what I'm getting at. A lot of, a lot of overdrive pedals I've used in the past, you've got to really work hard to get that tone. But right from the get-go, you got a good uh, you got a good rhythm sound. All right. At this point, what we want to do is start working with the bypass. So uh, what I'll do is uh, get a tone first, and we're going to go with a very basic one, and you'll see why in a second. So we'll go with just a very basic sound like we had before, and then I'll hit the bypass and you can see or hear exactly what this thing does to your sound. Yeah, so um, believe it or not, the the uh, <laughs> the volume on my guitar wasn't even set it at the full volume uh, when we were getting that feedback back there. So uh, when I said this thing sounds like a rabid dog waiting to be released, I, I wasn't kidding. This thing really does kick butt, um, and uh, especially when you hit that bypass switch, that is like the go baby go button. Um, and in fact, actually. <laughs> A little tongue-in-cheek humor from the uh, lollygagger folks there. The new the new pedal they got, the Cherry Box, uh, which is their fuzz, actually has a button that's called Fubar. Um, so if you need if you need to know what Fubar stands for, just look it up. 
Uh, but uh, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and um, take you through uh, the different colors so you can see what the Canalia looks like in different finishes. And I think you'll you'll dig the um, I think you'll dig the, uh, uh, the eye candy aspect of it. Well, that just about does it here for the Canalia. Uh, we're really happy to have this opportunity to revisit an old friend of ours here. Uh, we didn't, I don't think we gave it enough, enough air time last year when we first did a video on this pedal, and it really does deserve a second listen and a second look, uh, especially with a better setup now. And uh, this is just an amazing pedal. It's just a lot of fun. I, I have been just enjoying it since day one, and if you pick one up, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it as well. Uh, so for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.